Today's story is the Great Easter Egg Hunt, a Look Again book by Michael Garland. Dear reader, this book is a puzzle, a hide and seek game. There's more folly and fun here than fortune or fame. Some letters are hiding, and it's your job to seek. They spell something out. If you know where to peek, you'll see cute little chicks and lambs all around. They're not hard to spy, and they like to be found. Count all the eggs made of rubies and gold. Add up chocolate bunnies and bonnets so bold. Check the book covers, the front and the back. Most things are well hidden, so try to keep track. Take a pencil and paper, and carefully look. Make a list of the things that you find in this book. My list at the end. Take yours and compare. If the two don't agree, there's no need to despair. Look again at these pages, and as you go through, you'll see if you're careful. My numbers are true. Aunt. Jean. Tommy woke up early on Easter morning and found a note from his favorite aunt. Dear Tommy, hello, happy Easter! It's that great time of year. Follow the bunny, and he'll lead you here. He's a funny old hare with a striking pink vest. Stay close on his trail, and he'll do the rest. Aunt Jean. Tommy dashed across the yard and burst through the hedges in time to see the rabbit darting down a path in the woods. He paused just long enough to read the note tied to the hedge. Go down the path that turns into a maze. Getting lost is too easy. There are so many ways. Stay close on the heels of that cute little bunny. I can promise you'll like what you find more than money. At the end of the path, Tommy found a deep hole in the ground. There was a note lying by the edge. Hop right in. You'll soon know why. This hole in the ground is a hole in the sky. You'll enter a world where it's Easter all year. A basket of treats is the thing to hold dear. Whoosh! Thump! The rabbit hit the ground running, with Tommy right behind. As he ran along the path, Tommy almost stepped on another note. Look up at this building. What words do you see? There's a message in letters. Your mind holds the key. As Tommy entered the Easter egg factory, he grabbed the note that was pinned to the door. He read it as he ran along. Which came first, the chicken or the egg? You're falling behind. So start shaking a leg. The rabbit bounded up the steps of a building carved entirely out of chocolate. There was another note lying at the entrance. I know you love chocolate. Please come on inside. It'll melt in your mouth. So just open up wide. Tommy couldn't believe what he saw. He wanted to take a big bite, but he didn't know quite where to start on the ten-foot-tall bunny. As Tommy nibbled on the giant ear, he spotted another note: "Chocolate bunnies like this are the best to be found. Listen close while you eat for a funny new sound." Hiss, pop, boink, splat. Hiss. Pop, boink, splat! What was that racket? It was the great jelly bean machine.
So this is how they make them, thought Tommy. Catch a whole bunch. You're quick and you're young. Can you name all the flavors that you taste on your tongue? The Easter basket assembly line filled the long building from end to end. The workers labored furiously as the baskets whipped by. Add a few eggs and a colorful bow, but don't eat the grass. It's there just for show. Your next destination is no cause for dread. You'll find something there that goes on your head. An Easter stroll is not just a walk. A girl needs a hat to make people talk. Tommy saw the rabbit leave the shop. He followed him into Fifth Avenue and into the middle of the Easter parade. Tommy read the note attached to a lamp post. Join the procession of this Easter throng. Can you find all the things that just don't belong? A beautiful boulevard led toward a grand egg-shaped palace. Tommy found an encouraging note stuck to the first statue. You're getting closer. It's no time you'll see that the furry white rabbit has brought you to me. Tommy pursued the rabbit inside the palace. On the first step of the winding staircase, he found a note. Don't worry the whys, or the wheres, or the whos. Speed it on up. Hit those steps with your shoes. There's a great big surprise at the end of this quest. It's all been arranged by the ant you love best. Happy Easter. Dear reader, now that you have reached the end of this book, have you found everything there was to find? Don't forget to look on the title page, the front and back covers, and this page too. There are 28 lambs, 67 chicks, 36 chocolate rabbits, and 45 Easter bonnets. Don't forget to count my hat every time you see it. Can you find all the special golden Easter eggs set with red rubies? There are 18 of them. I am hiding somewhere in each scene. Did you spot me every time? Did you see the hidden Happy Easter messages in 14 different languages? Turkish, Korean, French, Italian, Croatian, Hungarian, German, Dutch, Portuguese, Russian, Polish, Greek, Spanish, Chinese. Were you able to spot all the hidden letters that spell out Happy Easter? Did you find the message I hid for Tommy on the giant egg next to the Easter egg factory entrance? It says, the great Easter bunny awaits you. Hint, look at the vertical rows of letters from top to bottom. You should also see horizontally, Tommy's name along with mine. How many things did you find in the Easter parade that belong to different holidays? You should have seen a Halloween witch, a ghost with a jack-o'-lantern head, a black cat, a Valentine's Day Cupid, Santa Claus and Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer, a Thanksgiving turkey, a St. Patrick's Day Leprechaun, as well as George Washington and Abraham Lincoln. Come back anytime. The Great Easter Bunny loves visitors. Aunt Jean. Thanks for watching Storytime with Miss Rose. 
If you liked the video, make sure to subscribe and click the notification bell for more videos. If you enjoyed the book, there's a link to purchase in the description below. Thank you.